The road isn't easy, past shelling, eerie separatist checkpoints, but where it leads is harder still. In beauty nothing surely could spoil, lies a horror still unresolved. Twelve days since MH17 was blown out of the sky, it remains here, a monument to cruelty. To how 298 souls, some shipped in parts away on a separatist train, have yet to find complete rest. Questions left. What or who else did they love? What did they feel in their last moments? The silence in these fields is that of a tomb. Like sorrow and loss have isolated it from the war around it. But you really have to stand here and see the things that people wanted to take with them on holiday and horrifyingly, even now, smell the stench of decay to understand the urgency the relatives of those who died here must feel to get inspectors to this site and get some kind of closure. In the hour we were there, no separatists, inspectors or Ukrainian soldiers at this site. Just distant smoke that explains why the inspector's large convoy has not, for the fourth day running, got here. God save and protect us, the sign asks. Not here, still reeking of jet fuel. Where you can see the heat of the inferno they fell from the sky in. Strangers have tried to mourn. The scene of this crime has been abandoned, evidence tampered with. What must be shrapnel holes visible in the cockpit's remains. A wallet emptied, a cell phone looted. Traces of daydreams that fell from the jet stream into a war whose daily horrors drowned out that which took their lives. Whose blind hatred has yet to find space for the minor dignities they deserve. Nick Payton Walsh, CNN, Krabova, Ukraine.